Hello everyone, welcome to the Red Men TV. It is the fan reaction show. I'll be taking your views across Twitter, across the YouTube comments and across our Discord server for Club Legends on Red Men Plus. If you want to get involved in the chat, then you can do. You just need to join uh, as a member on YouTube and then you can get involved. It's the one show a week where we do it as a member-only chat. I'm going to start off, of course, with Twitter. If you want to uh, get involved on Twitter, then reply to the tweet that we put out just a little while ago and say, Aston Villa 1, Liverpool 3. What did you make of that then, Reds? I'm going to start with a comment from our own Steve Plunkett actually who well, I think summed up the game quite nicely it says what an open game creating chances all over the place but needs to be tighter at the back is that a fair summary Reds I think that's the summary that I sort of gave Steve when he asked me straight after the game actually um, we did create loads of chances they also created loads of chances from a neutral perspective it was a hell of a game of football from a Liverpool fan perspective it was good to get the three points but as has been quite often the case so far this season for the Reds we are given too many opportunities uh, to the opposition sides and it's not like they have to work particularly hard for those opportunities there was a spell in the game where I thought Aston Villa did really well and it was before we scored the third goal and there was about 10 minutes there where we just couldn't seem to clear our lines really you know Virgil van Dijk and Joel Matip did well at the back heading the ball away and stuff but you've got to wonder why we are so easy to break open at the back and what to come down to and stuff and, and, and you know again I keep referencing Pep Linder's press conference before Man City about working on moving as a team and stuff it doesn't seem like defending as a team is quite high on our list of priorities at the moment and absolutely should be because against better sides today we'd have conceded a lot more goals now fortunately Aston Villa were uh, wasteful in front of goal just like Liverpool were to be fair the positive of course and the flip side of that is we're creating loads and loads of opportunities Darwin Nunes has a number of chances doesn't he probably could have bagged a hat trick today at some point um, because of all the chances that he's got so I'm going to get into some of the, the Twitter comments uh, Johnny Fallon says ah yeah Liverpool always like a bit of stress but overall more like ourselves back at it uh, and definitely from a, an attacking point of view thought first half we built up really well um, we're using Trent Alexander Arnold to switch the ball to Andy Robertson. You know, it was great to see Thiago take up that sort of deep lying playmaker role towards the left hand side, allowing Andy Robertson to get down that left hand side and whip crosses in. There was a couple there from Andy that were absolutely brilliant. Um, none other, uh, none better, sorry, than the first one that he put in for Darwin Nunes, who inexplicably steps over the ball. But it was a great ball by Andy Robertson. And time and time again, Andy Robertson was at the heart of everything good that Liverpool were doing, certainly in that first half. Um, uh, Robbo underscore 84 says, nice seeing the proper verge and fab now that the World Cup is off their mind, buzzing for Bajetic. And that's right, I thought Fabinho was brilliant, I thought Virgil van Dijk was brilliant, I completely ad ad agree with Glyn there. Um, Virgil van Dijk for me was probably my man of the match, you know, not only does he take his goal really well, it's a great instinctive left-footed volley, um, which maybe our centre-forwards had been thinking a little bit more like him uh, and had the ability to be able to do that at times. Uh, the finish is absolutely brilliant, but from a defensive side of things, I thought Virgil van Dijk was brilliant. He did look like himself. I know he's gone away with Holland and he's had a decent World Cup and he looks stronger for it right now and maybe that just sometimes a, a change is as good as a rest and hopefully that is the case for Virgil van Dijk because he looks really good again uh, and Fabinho you know he's there he's the destroyer in the middle of the park we've seen slide tackles there was one that was mental but it was called for a handball against him when it clearly hit him in his head and then went onto his hand which obviously at that point isn't a handball but so many times he was winning the ball back whether that be a header whether that be a slidey whether it just be an interception he's in the right place at the right time and he looks like he's got a bit of juice back in the legs and we're going to need Fabinho to be back to his best he said it right I think during the game when Fabinho plays well Liverpool play well and Fabinho played much better today so that's now two solid outings he has a good 45 when he comes on against Manchester City he has a good 90 minutes there for Liverpool so yeah one and a half really good games for Fabinho and hopefully that is it that's all that he needed that little confidence booster um, and hopefully we will see the best of Fabinho moving forwards uh, Nap Daddy says good solid performance while not scoring liked a lot of what I saw from Nunes great at time in the runs <laughs> I think sometimes he's great at time in the runs. Sometimes he's really off his game when it comes to time in the runs. And I think sometimes it's easy to pin the blame on Darwin News. I'd have to go back and look at it all properly. 
again because sometimes I do feel like if Liverpool play the ball earlier where he wants it then he's on side but there are other times when like second half Mo Salah has the ball and plays a poor ball through to Nunes but Nunes is clearly offside sometimes he's making the run when he's already offside sometimes he's calling for the ball when he's he's clearly offside I think someone needs to have a bit of a word with him and say look mate you're so fast you don't need to be offside you could be a yard behind them with your pace and, and that's that's it really with Nunes he is frighteningly quick but it was a good performance from him. He's in the right positions a, a lot of the time. Finishing-wise, it's a terrible performance from him. There's no hiding that fact. Amazon Prime gave him the man of the match. I'm not sure they had the telly on for the full game, to be honest, because you can't miss that many chances and be man of the match in my eyes. But he does put the team under pressure all the time. He puts the centre-halves under pressure all the time. And he forces mistakes from them. There's that one where I think it's Conser ends up hitting the ball back. And that's probably one of his best chances, where he doesn't have to think about it. And he sort of volleys it, and it's a good save uh, from the goalkeeper. But again, you know, he's always in the right place. And I've said it a few times today already, so apologies for repeating myself. Himself. But he does feel like when he bags a couple of goals, he's going to go on a bit of a run. Then you might get a little bit of a run where they don't quite all go his way again, but then you're going to get another run. And that happens with young players. You know, 23 years old, you're probably four years off your prime as a centre forward, uh, and your prime might run from 20, let's say 26, let's give it a bit earlier. Let's say 27, 26, 27 years old, so 30, 31 years old as a forward, you're probably in your prime. So we've got three years where he's going to probably be a little bit inconsistent at times. But right now, I think I'm still right in saying he's got nine goals and three assists and 20 appearances so far this season, which is good. You know, that's exactly where he probably should be first season you know he's on course potentially to get 20 le 20 goals this season which wouldn't be a bad return for the fair for your first season the difference in us and saw this on um our discord earlier on so i'm going to just take this point and apologies I i've forgotten who mentioned it it was really early on in the game but it might have been even half time um and the, the, the what the the guy was trying to say or the lady was trying to say was that harland is a plug and play striker Darwin Nunes wasn't a plug-and-play striker. Darwin Nunes was a lad who needed to be coached up. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing growing pains from Darwin Nunes right now. But what was lovely to see was at the end of the game, the travelling cop clapping him and supporting him as he goes off. I think sometimes, don't get me wrong, I was as emotional and as annoyed as anybody else when he missed those chances live. But I can take a step back and I can understand that the performance sometimes is what's necessary and what we want to see he runs his arse into the ground every single time he takes to the field and wears that Liverpool shirt that's number one that's the first thing you want to see everything else is a bit of a bonus on that obviously we want to see him score more goals and stuff obviously we want to see him get into those positions that he's getting into so that's a good thing he needs to finish his dinner more don't get me wrong but right now if he gets 20 goals in his first season as a 23 year old in the best league in world football that's a good start for me uh, Scott Barton on Twitter, we worked hard, Nunes caused chaos for Villa, subs changed the match and couldn't be happy with you for Bajcetic for his goal and Doak's appearance, job done, on to Leicester, uh, yeah it's going to be, hopefully it should be a relatively easy game against Leicester, I mean they're not in form at the moment, uh, famous last words of course, um, over on to the YouTube comments then, Wayne Mifsud that's just joined us a call Terry, thank you very much Wayne, much appreciated, um, how many sleeps till Lucho is back, uh, says key to start, so Diaz back, is it February, March time, something like that? Um, so yeah, a lot, basically. The countdown for Christmas is finished. You can now count down for Diaz on your sleeps if you want. It's crossbow, so it's an 8.99 super chat. Thank you so much, mate. Uh, Virgil and Salah scored by Chechit, Alonso Regen, debut goal. Bendo Prem debut and Nunes, man of the match, should be Virgil, in my opinion. Agree with that one. And one point off United and five off spares with a game in hand. Life is good. Um, yeah, well, actually, let's have a little look at the Premier League table while we're here, mate. Uh, obviously, we can see Arsenal, who are none of our business right now, on 37 points. Uh, you can see there Liverpool in seventh uh, with a game in hand on Brighton. Uh, level uh, on games with Manchester United. So we're four points behind Manchester United. But we have gained uh, on the race for fourth with Tottenham Hotspur uh, right now. In fact, is that even updated? Was that right? Was that right, yeah? No, that's not updated. Fucking hell, lads. Jesus wept. Come on, the boys. Let's have a little look at this one. Right. Yeah. Okay, that's better. One point behind Manchester United, which you can't see. Um, I'm going to make this screen a little bit smaller for you to see. 
There we go. One point behind Manchester United, five points behind Tottenham Hotspur. Obviously, Manchester United do have a game in hand on us. Um, and yeah, that's good. So, gain, gain ground on Tottenham Hotspur, always a good thing. Love to see that. Going to get back into the YouTube comments before I go into our Discord. Uh, part of the Nunes game, which is often overlooked, is that by moving with speed, he distracts at least the two opposition players, uh, opening up space for others. Very good point there from Jay Nugent. Uh, Dickie Oid Red, not perfect for the Reds, but far from awful. A win on the return was needed, and we got that. A typical Liverpool win, really, by Chetich and Doak. Cameo's fantastic bonuses. I mean, I love the fact that Ben Doak was able to sit Lucas Dean down and embarrass him, uh, sent him for the Liverpool echo, which was lovely to see. By Chetich taking that goal is brilliant. And the way he takes it, the composure that he showed, showed uh, in the penalty area, obviously gets a little bit lucky when it goes through. Tyro Mings his legs and stuff but put it on target uh, and good things can happen so that was great to see over into the discord uh, a little bit then uh, as long as Darwin is on the field says Donkey Jag uh, we are always in the game um, uh, yeah I think it's him not okay sorry for the confusion maybe I don't know football as well but I think what the fuck is anyone talking about Darwin almost costing us the game he didn't almost cost us the game uh, we won by two clear goals and he didn't score I think it's not capitalising on the good chance he had to make the, ga the game safe I think he had a decent game all over but in front of goal in the last couple of games he has frustrated that's totally fair Tony LFC Mag Mav main thoughts there are some absolute thunderbell ends in the YouTube comments at times wow woof Goes it hard there, doesn't he? Great win, massive for us to get a good restart onto Friday. Up the Reds, Mr. Flibble. Great return match today. Yeah, there are things to work on, but they held together and got the points. Don't kill Nunes. The lad's got talent and he'll come through. You'll never walk alone. Uh, ODV Metalhead 88. Brilliant result. Never doubted our ability and belief to win the game. Uh, well done and come on, you Reds. Uh, absolutely agree with all of that. Let's have a little look. Oh, there we go. Oh, Liverpool red, lovely little picture there. Has Dini announced his retirement yet? I mean, he's he's on the floor praying that that didn't happen as soon as it happens, which is lovely to see. Um, oh, Protege do as well. This is a good one. I absolutely love it when the travelling cop sing Nunes' name right when he goes over. He's infuriatingly exciting. I love him so much. And Eddie there says, happy to get the win. Darwin Nunes is going to always write headlines, isn't he? I think he is... He's just a polarising figure right now at Liverpool, and I can I can see it from both sides. I could see why you get annoyed with him, but like to write him off is it's not right. Not at this early stage. This lad hasn't even been with us a full season yet. We've had half a season, and he scored goals. I mean that that's that's all you can ask for, isn't it? Really. Uh, David Agri says, Darwin Nunes needs to score and work on his goal scoring. Absolutely agree. He does need to work on his goal scoring. Uh, David Thomas says, good win, should real grit. Reckon we can crowdfund the trips to the land of Oz to get Darwin. Oh, footballing brain. Ouch. Pardon, nom. By Chetich. Wow. Doak as well. Rooney Regen. Oh, gosh. High praise indeed. For those slagging Darwin off, don't come flip-flopping later. If you can't see how great he will be once you put it all together, footy ain't for you. Rate how he's never frustrated and keep fighting. Just nerves, letting him down. He'll be boss. Hopefully, you're absolutely right. Going to get back in to the YouTube comments then. Uh, again, uh, as I say, Nunes is going to write the headlines over and over. Patrick Westmore, just keep an eye on Nunes as he will get goals. Good to see Ben Doak as a sub. Hope Liverpool will be in the top four. Agreed. FPL skills, fair, superb first half performance, which is something we've struggled to produce this season. Give Nunes a year or two to prove himself, as you can clearly see, as bags of potential. And Beth McCard, £5 super chat, thank you. Thought a rested Trent with a point to prove look good. Yeah, he did actually, didn't he? Certainly first half, I thought he was much better first half than, than second half. You know, his ability to pick that ball out for Andy Robertson in the build-up to the first goal, there's no other player on the pitch that could play that pass in the manner that they played that pass. It was absolutely brilliant. And Robertson just left Mo Salah with nothing to do but hit the back of the net. It was absolutely on a plate for the Egyptian king, which again was great to see. But Trent's passing ability, someone mentioned it in the comments on the watch-along, you know, you know that the wonder of a foot that he had. I mean, it was just on show all the time, wasn't it? Second half, felt we were under a little bit more pressure at times. We didn't see probably the best of Trent going forward. We didn't see the best of Andy Robertson going forward in the second half. Their great attack and work was all done in the first half, wasn't it? But all in, pretty good performance from the Reds. And to get the three points, that's the most important thing. Uh, I Dad says, big win. So our key players look like their old selves, Robbo and Fab in particular. 
Um, and finally, I'll wrap it up with Turtle Man the Red. Nunes will give me a few heart problems, but it was awesome to see Liverpool look like the Liverpool that I know can win any game. Fingers crossed this Liverpool side can win any game. I'm still going to reserve judgment on the defensive aspects of the game right now. I think there are things there that we can work on, we can improve on. And those things actually haven't changed from the first half of the season so far. But right now, it's about grinding out results. It's about getting three points and then getting another three points and another three points and seeing where you are um, come the middle of January or whatever because it's a big time of the season for us. If we want to put pressure on the teams above, that's when you find that how, how good the teams above are. When you keep winning, what happens to them? Do they start feeling the pressure? It's a bit like a title race in that regard, isn't it? You keep winning, you see what the other teams are made of. Now, the difference between this and a title race is the other teams aren't made of the same metal that Manchester City were made of last season or, or the other season when we lost by a point. Um, so, we just got to keep winning and we keep playing like this we will score goals we just need to shore up the back a little bit um, but that is it for the fan reaction show thank you for everybody who's got involved uh, thank you for everybody on our discord for supporting us on Redmen Plus of course uh, don't forget to still be back with player ratings in about 10 to 12 minutes time I think we going to quarter pass with Steve yeah, quarter past eight for State and the player ratings. It promises to be a good one. Will Darwin Nunes be given the player of the match from us or will it be somebody else? We'll find out and tune in at quarter past eight with Mr. Steve Hall. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching the show. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a like on the way out. Did you know you could get some hoodies, T-shirts and any accessories from redmenmerch.com? So head on over there now and grab yourself something.